Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to Fern Valley Farms Beekeeping Channel. If you're looking for beekeeping videos, this is the place to come. My name is Vince. Let's go. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to inspect. Uh, we're going to inspect some of these splits. I hate to say this, but we have to start thinking about winter. <laughs> Fall is coming. The goldenrod is just about to start to bloom on these hives, <clears throat> and I did a video on it. I put some supers on them with some frames just for them to draw comb. That was it. If there's some honey in there, fine. But the whole purpose was maybe to get them to draw some comb while the nectar flow was still on. Um, I am feeding them one to one just to help. That's just the way I'm doing it. Some people might not agree, and that's fine. But it's just the way I'm doing it. It seems to work okay. And if it's not, it's not. I like to do experiments with my bees. I, I love experimenting to see what they do. Ask me anything about a horse, and I'll tell you. I've been in the horse business forever. And you'll learn by observing and doing things and obviously making mistakes, bad things happening. Same thing with the bees. You'll learn by making mistakes. You'll learn by... I love experimenting with these guys to see what they do, to see exactly how a bee thinks. And so, and how they operate in different times of the year. So, with the goldenrod, like I said, it's about to start blooming. There's a couple of pieces actually up. So, I want to get all this stuff off. The super is coming up tomorrow. Extracting is going to start. I want to get everything off and get them ready for the second nectar flow or golden, you know, the golden rod. There's still some wildflowers blooming too. Um, and then obviously when the golden rod is done, I'm going to open feed. I'm going to do some hive top feeding. I'm not sure exactly how yet. And get them ready for winter. Oh my God, I don't want about winter and cold. I don't mind snow once in a while, but anyways. Okay, let's get into this. I'm not sure. I might have to turn the camera this way to keep the wind keep the wind out of the back so we're gonna start right here I'm gonna try and do this without a bee suit without, without my veil on I should say this is one of my carniola splits off of my mean hive this was this one yeah this one was requeened so okay here we go let's pull this off hell I could probably even pull ventilation boxes off don't you love how you light your smoker when you're trying to work your bees, it keeps going out, but then when you're done, the thing is smoking for hours. Okay, I'm gonna pull the ventilation boxes off. I think we're probably past that. I mean, we still got some warm days, but. Remember, always pop your inner covers slow. If you snap them, sometimes you can't help it. It really irritates them. <laughs> if you want to try and work veilless, come on, girls. There we go. You can see there's a bunch of bees up here. I'm going to just set this down really carefully right there without squishing anybody. Okay, you guys can leave now. I need my brush. Get the bees out of the super. Let's see what some of these combs look like. Yeah, they made a little bit of honey up in here. We're going to have to take this off. Morning, girls. Are you in a good mood? They're just starting to cap this. And you could feed this back to your bees, but I don't want to put super frames in my hive because I always go with double deeps. If I put the super frames in and then the queen starts laying, then I got this in there for the, for the winter, and I'd rather not have that, so I'm going to shake these guys off. These combs that do have honey on them will go in the freezer. You know, just starting to cap that. They drew a little bit on these frames. I mean, that's fine. So my experiment, to see if they will draw on frames, it kind of worked. They started drawing this frame out. Both sides. It's 
Set that down really carefully. We'll just inspect a few frames here. We'll see what they got going on. Come over here to the middle. Actually, pull one of these out so I can work on this. It just goes to show you, you can split a mean hive. Oh, sorry. And requeen it. Sorry, girls. Well, there's brood along the bottom, there's honey around the outside, which is good. Oh, there you go. Look at that. How nice is that, huh? I love seeing that. That gets beekeepers really excited. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do a whole lot in here. I don't wanna leave this open too long. Look at that. Is that nice? This was a carniolan queen. I can see, the, without even my glasses, I can see the larva in there. That looks really nice. Obviously she's up top laying. I can see a bee with pollen on it right there. This hive is going to go pretty soon, which is nice. I like to get my colonies big and strong for winter. I like... Wow. She's up here laying. She's in here somewhere. Let me get my glasses on if I can see any... I don't want to leave this open too long. Robbing really hasn't started yet. Although up by my honey barn, the bees did find, it's amazing how they could find this stuff. They found some of the frames up there that I had pulled. Wow, she's going to town up here. That's a beautiful thing, isn't it? And there's a whole bunch of little eggs in here too. A little brand new, she's up here somewhere laying. So we're gonna leave this alone. And what I'm going to do different next year, any of these giant hives, I'm going to just split them right in half. I made a mistake. I lost my Buckfast hive. If you've seen that video on a hive going queenless, wow, look at that. She's going to town. A lot of these bees that are going to hatch, too, are going to be my winter bees. Very nice. You probably can't see it. All right, we're going to stop. This one, no, this hive is not being fed. So see, I was feeding them, but this one I don't have syrup on. Wow, look at that. <laughs> That's beautiful, isn't it? A whole brand new frame of capped honey, but obviously I'm not taking that. That will be for the winter. So yeah, I lost my Buckfast hive. It, it swarmed, I, and I actually seen it. I was up by my barn, up in front of my shop, and I heard a noise, and I look up, and here goes this huge swarm of bees. And I ran out here, not that there's anything I could do about it. And it looked like, because I checked everybody, even that Buckfast hive, they were there. I mean, there was a lot of bees in there. But obviously that's one that swarmed. Looks good, I'm not going any farther. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it. Now well, let's pull one frame out, let's just see. Very carefully. Let's get this off of here. And I do got to get in here. Actually, you know what? I am going to leave it. Because soon I got to get in here with my apple bar strips. We know the queen is working. We can see it. We're going to just put this back. Cause I gotta come and put Apivar on, and I can go through that. I don't wanna leave this stuff open too long. 
I gotta get those bees out of that super. All right, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna, we're gonna shake these girls down. You ready? Let's piss off a whole bunch of bees. You ready? Let's see if I can just bump them, bump them down this way. Some of these guys, you can just kind of shake them off. I don't want to hurt anybody. That's the problem when you put your super on the on a table and the bees all fall on it. The lights are starting to get a little cool, so I'm just going to leave the ventilation box off. I think we're okay now. Get this here. This one, we'll just do one more here. I don't want to bore you guys too long. This one I am feeding, and they're really not drinking it. Okay, this was my cow. Okay, this is the high by combined. If you've seen that video, this is the high by combined. There ain't a whole lot of bees up here, so we're gonna take that newspaper out. If you leave it, they'll do it themselves. They are working on the pollen patty. So we're gonna just see how this queen is doing. And look, I found a wax moth. Seriously, get out of here. Okay, there's not a whole lot going on up top. This hive is probably going to get condensed down into one box because there's a whole lot of room here. A little bit of larva in there. Yeah, I think I'm going to I'm going to condense this. They don't need all this room. There's not a whole lot of bees in here. She is laying, not very fast, but she is laying. So we're gonna condense these guys down. Well, there you go, a little bit. Not the best, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so this is one I requeened a few, uh, three weeks ago, I want to say. A little bit of wax moth in this one here. Right here. You see that? You see that line? Goodbye. You can't live in my hive. When you've got a strong colony, they can keep, they can fend that stuff off. This one obviously isn't very big, so we are going to combine this down to one box and let them go. They don't need all this room. Combine these. These guys got to grow, so. You 
give them too much room, they don't work as good. So we're going to do this. Ah, we'll see. Ah, we'll leave the feeder eyes here or whatnot. We're not really drinking it, but it ain't gonna hurt nothing. All right, is that just two of them, like, really quick? I'm not gonna do, I, the other ones I'm sure look just like this one does. They were doing really well. So that split, oh, uh, that requeening took off great. That one, that was my one I had to requeen about three weeks ago. I combined that old Buckfast hive with this one. And you can see they don't need all that room. So uh, they're just down to a single box right now. There's an Italian queen in there. So anyways, that's it. Yeah, I'm just going to go through the other two. I'm sure there, if there's anything that really looks interesting in there, I'll turn the camera back on. But it'll take me a while to go through all these. So um, anyways, that queen, that requeening looks good. That split's doing great. I'm sure the other two are doing just as good. If there's any issues there or something kind of seems funny, I'll, I'll make a video on it. But I'm sure I'm okay on there. So... <clears throat> Anyways, that is it. You can see the hive that I combined. Doesn't need two boxes. They got plenty of room. There's not a whole lot of bees in there. That queen is laying not very fast. I, maybe I, I got too much room in there. Now she's down to one. Just keep them tight. Bees do better in tighter spaces. Technically, she probably could be in a nuke, but I'm just going to leave it here for right now. I'll baby the hell out of this thing. Um, obviously, number six here is doing really well. That split looks great. Lots of bees in there. She's laying up a storm, so anyways, that is it. I'm going to pull these two apart really quick, get the supers off, get them up before all the bees kind of discover it, and uh, hopefully you like the videos. Like, subscribe, share the videos. I'd really, really appreciate it, and I will talk to you guys really soon in the next video. All right, bye.